Okay, let's get started. So once you've logged on, let's go to new and invoice. And in this video, we're going to go over every aspect of the invoice. So if we look here next to invoice, this little icon shows us all of the recent invoices. So if you click on any of these, it'll open up that invoice. Number two, here we have the customer. This is where we select the customer name. If it's a new customer that doesn't exist here, you can add a new one. Simply click Add New, and you will fill out all of the information. So for example, the customer display name, this is what's going to be shown here and on the invoice. Uh, when we talk about the customer email on this side, it's whatever email you entered here. And uh, the billing address will be what we'll show here. And there are so many other uh, options that you can fill out, like customer type, uh, if you've already set them up, and uh, attachments, notes for a specific customer, etc. Once you've created the customer profile, when you select it, it'll automatically fill it out. So here we have the email, the billing address, the terms, and the invoice date. So uh, on the email, <clears throat> here we can click on the CCBCC. And so if you whatever email you entered here will be copied. Uh, when you send this invoice out. Uh, when you create the invoice, if you don't want to send it out yet, you can hit send later and it'll remain in your AR so that when you're ready, you can send it out to the customer. Once you've selected the customer and this gets all filled out, you will also see all of your billable expenses, if you have any, listed here. Uh, these will be available to add to this invoice. If you do not want them, you could just push it back and you're all set. The billing address, as I stated, um, is based on the, the customer profile when you create it. The terms as well. Now, this invoice date and due date, today's the 26th of July, so 30 days from now will be August 25th. If I change it to 15 days, the date changes on the due date. The tags. These tags are for your own internal way of tracking these invoices. So what I would use these for is for the type of invoice or the type of work this is. So I'm going to create a design tag. And that way, whenever I want to see all of my design invoices, regardless of who the customer is, etc. We will look up the tag, open everything that was tagged design, and all of those invoices will be listed all together. Now when we go down to this area, this is where we select the product or service that we provided. So I'm going to create design. <clears throat> when you create the product or the service that you are selling, uh, you can enter a custom description. In this case, the custom description just says custom design. This can be edited here by simply typing in, or when you set it up, it'll automatically uh, pre-fill it. Quantities, one uh, here is showing one, but it could be whatever the quantity is. The rate per the quantity and the total amount. So if this was uh, 75, and I have quantity of 2, what's up, 250, 150. Now we have the tax column here. This is for sales tax. So if you're going to charge sales tax on this, simply select it. And then down here below, all of the, the profiles you created with the sales tax rates will be listed here. So we have California at 8%. So 8% of the 150 would be uh, 12 so we have 162 as our new total balance. If you do not want to charge sales tax, simply check it off. And it goes back to zero and back to the original amount. If you want to provide a discount, you can do either by percentage or a discount value. 
So discount percentage, let's say it's fifteen dollars. So we have a discount of twenty-two fifty. So it's the one fifty minus the twenty-two fifty. We have one hundred twenty-seven fifty. If we do it by value, it's only going to reduce it by fifteen dollars because that's the value we entered. <clears throat> Now, so now we've covered all of this, this whole section, the message on invoice. This is what your um, your customer is going to see and the lower in the lower part of the invoice. Uh, you could write whatever you want. Currently, it just says thank you for your business. Have a great day. This is the message that's going to be on the statement. So as it reads here, if you send uh, statements to customers, this will show up as the as the description for this invoice. So. Since it's design, design, I'm just going to put design invoice. You can write whatever works best for you. Then we have attachments. If there's an attachment that you want to include with the invoice, you can simply click and drag and drop uh, to this section within these parameters, and the file will be automatically attached. Or click here, and you'll be able to uh, look for your file, and it will attach. Now we have this black bar down here. We have print or preview. When you click on it, we can click on print or preview. It'll automatically save the invoice. And if you haven't customized your invoice, this is what it looks like from the beginning. It does not have your logo, doesn't have anything customized for you. But this is the invoice nonetheless. Once you edit it, it will show your invoice. At the top, we have how many pages are in this uh, PDF, and it's just one. If we zoom out the file, the PDF gets smaller. If we zoom in, it gets bigger. If we zoom it out, it goes from top to bottom. And if we do the fit to width, it'll show you the entire uh, invoice uh, up close. And like I said, here's the invoice message. Now here we have uh, a download button. The moment you click this, a screen will pop up. You could type in the name of the invoice, how you want to save it, the file name, and save it to your desktop or wherever you want it. Or the print icon and it'll pop up so that you can hit print. It's the same thing as it is down here. If you click get link to this invoice, it's going to give you a custom link that you could copy it and uh, paste it to your email and send it to the customer. The customer will click on that invoice and I'm sorry on that link and we'll be able to see the invoice. Now when you hit save um, it's just going to save the invoice. This invoice is already saved and uh, save and send it's going to save the invoice and then it will pop up so that you can write a message uh, and email it to the customer. If you want to make this invoice recurring, let's say that it, every month you are going to bill them for design at 150, just click make recurring. You could give the template a name for this recurring invoice and uh, and so on. There's a separate video for how to do all of this, but you could do it from the invoice. For customization, um, I will not be able to show you from here. And again, this is a separate video, but when you click customize, you can use the standard invoice that we currently have. It hasn't been touched, it hasn't been edited, it hasn't been customized or branded. Um, new style, you're creating a whole new one. Edit the current, you're basically editing the standard. And lastly, uh, make recurring. We already went over this, but you can also see the feature here. So if you click on that, the same screen will pop up. If you hit revert, what's going to happen is going to clear the entire invoice. So uh, you'll start from scratch all over again if need be. I'm going to go back to the items here. If you need more lines, you can simply hit add lines and it'll start adding them for you. If you don't need the lines, you can simply hit delete of the trash bin. Let's say we have two line items here. And I want to subtotal these two. So just add a subtotal 
and you'll see the subtotal. If you don't want to show the subtotal, you can remove it. Let's add a subtotal and let's add a few more. And let's say I want to add a subtotal there as well. So you'll see design was 650, everything, and uh, lighting and rocks were 350, etc. Again, if you don't want it, simply delete it. If you change your mind, always make sure that the taxes, if it's taxable, check it. If it's un not, if it's not taxable, do not check it because cleaning it up. It's going to be a pain later on so make sure you do it right when you create the invoice and this covers everything about an invoice on how to create it what every section is and um, there's one more here receive payment this is a whole separate video but when you have an in when uh, you receive a payment you can open this invoice click receive payment and apply the payment information and easy just like that we're all set